All right, just uh, go over real quickly the preparation for using the new base bar top plate sound reference tool. So on your computer, we just need to call our web browser and then in the world wide web violinresearch.com okay so on the website page just click in this uh, middle section here ah okay so on the second page is the shows the violin uh, and these are the different uh, subjects you can just click on to go to find out about different things like this is the fingerboard and then you come to a directory and from that directory you can go to print articles and then from the print articles you can see the individual uh, articles so going back so in the upper right hand corner here there's a box that says useful tools so we click on that and this is the useful tools page so going down three one two scrolling down the page three see there's a base bar and inside of top plate so just click on that okay and so this is the page about the um, Base bar, top plate, universal, tap tone reference tool. Okay, so this is a description. Gives you some uh, how-to kind of uh, information. And below that, you see there's two little violin boxes. These are two recorded um, YouTube videos showing an analysis of two different violins, which we're about to record. Uh, if you click on this top picture. you'll get a three minute recording with three taps and then a pause and this is for you to tap three times and then it, you tap yourself you'll see in the video so that you have a reference okay so I'm going to go back now down the page a little ways you'll see there's two tap tone tools this is basically just a piece of spruce you split off from the top plate wood you can also use a uh, spruce sound post if you want or any other tapping thing that pleases you and I've made two recordings um, this first one is with the um, this just regular spruce tapping tool and this is recorded with a microphone and uh, my sound editor and the second one is a, way, a zoom um, recording audio device and then the second one, this is the lead filled tap tone tool. It's basically the same thing, spruce, and then it's hollowed out inside and filled with fine lead shot and glued back together. And there's a description of how to use it. And then at the very bottom, there's two uh, boxes. This one is the, with the zoom recording and micro, no, I'm sorry, with the sound editor and a microphone and with this lead shot filled tap tone tool and this is with the lead uh, filled tap tone tool and with the zoom recording so my advice is if you want to use this tool the lead filled one and then use these two references and just choose whichever one you like the best and if you're using just a standard piece of spruce or wooden pencil or something to tap then use these two sound reference tools and just pick out the one you like the best. Okay, that's just a little um, primer. Thank you. All right, the blanks out there again. This is my Opus 26 violin, and this is one that, from the moment I first strung it up, I was disappointed with the way it played. So this one's probably going to have a lot of uh, work to do on it. I've been saving it out. So this is just a regular um, spruce wood tapper. It's out of a uh, top plate wood. And uh, there's no lead or anything. It's just a plain 
Bruce tool. So, for that reason, I'm going to choose the uh, recording with a zoom recorder for just a regular spruce tapper. And we'll do the same survey as before. Sounds high. Sounds low. So these top plate sounds low. Let's try the tail piece. Sounds low. It sounds high. So if this is low, this will be high. Try the string bar. This is low. It's a little bit high. It's a bit low. So when we get these back in harmony, it'll be where we want. So let's try the end pin. So low, 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 high, high, high. So we'll drop this down, and then when he's in harmony, they'll be matching. Let's try the. Uh, I'm calling the button on the neck. Sounds high. It's low. When you adjust this shape to get it down where it belongs, this will come back up. I'm going to try to compare the heel to the side tab. High, and that's low. So when you get this back in balance, these will be in harmony. Okay, let's try the scroll. So all these are low, and there's a way we can adjust this to bring the frequency up by making this not so flared. Flattening the sides will give it a higher pitch. So that's about it. Let's try the uh, fingerboard. And start our tap over again. And start again. These are all low. So when this is low, this is going to be high. When we adjust it, they'll be in harmony. Okay, let's do a few of these tuning pins. So if this is low, that will be high. Slightly high. Slightly low. Same. This will be in harmony. And adjust it right. Maybe that's a bit high. That's a bit low. Again, these will be in harmony when they're adjusted right. So that's the basic idea. And this is... Um, that way you can tell what needs to be adjusted, what are the problems, and uh, where to go from there. Okay? Thank you.